Good morning. It's 7.50 and we're heading out to Rocky Point today. We're going to install another HXH5. This one's a four ton. A very cool place. Uh, going to a guy's house that uh, has a fort built out front that has a bar built into it. Uh, believe it or not, he has a cannon that shoots tennis balls and they shoot them at abandoned houses across the street. And uh, the place where we're going to install this four ton, actually it's three and a half ton. Uh, the old one was four, the new one's going to be three and a half. Is a house slash race car shop. So it's, it's pretty interesting. Uh, so stay tuned. Alright, I'm heading over to my job. Uh, they got over there and took the air handler out, took all the old stuff out, and Ari Michael bungled up the order and didn't uh, order my units. So I had to send them up to Garner, North Carolina, which is like two and a half hours away from here. Actually, it's about two hours away from here to get the right stuff. So now it's two o'clock and I'm leading. That's Ari Michael behind me there. I'm leading them to the job site because we're so far out in the country. They never make it down here alive by themselves. So we're gonna get started, probably set the condenser today and come in tomorrow morning and do the rest. All right, there's our old ductwork right there we're reusing. This hangs inside of a big old auto shop. Guy's got a lot of cool toys. Uh, little electric carts, motorcycles, very cool stuff. And what we're doing is I'm running the line set up and over to the unit location. I've already set the condenser outside. We'll take a look at that in a second. All right, we got another 15 seer heat pump sitting out here. Got the lines run through the wall. The suction lines run all the way back to the air handler, but it's uh, not tied in yet. Liquid lines tied in here. Got a low voltage dumb. I'm gonna have to go get a new whip because this whip isn't long enough. Probably stop at Lowe's and get a whip and then uh, finish it up tomorrow and get some footage of her running. They're real quiet, really nice units. All right, putting a little nitrogen on the system. Uh, three and a half ton, 15 seer Heil HXH5. Got our run capacitor, contactor, Little alert system, troubleshooting. Uh, two speed phantom motor relay. Uh, I think 82 or 83 degrees outside, it steps up to high speed. And uh, when it's cooler outside, it's on low speed. Uh, there's our defrost controller. Uh, I got my everything set up for the vacuum. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and set it up, take the cores out so I can pressurize it with nitrogen so it's a nice, easy switch over into the vacuum. And we'll see how this vacuum pulls down today, as opposed to some of the ones we've been talking about. Uh, John and Fritz have been talking to me, and uh, we're going to have a conversation about vacuuming the existing systems. This isn't existing, but uh, i got some theories on what we can do to speed it up a little bit. So but we'll see. We'll come back and check on the vacuum about five minutes to see where it's at. We just started a couple seconds ago. All right, a few minutes later, we're at 1130 microns, which is not optimal. So I have to think our way around this. Why are we not going down as quickly as I would like to? Okay, what I had to do with the vacuum was put it through a triple evacuation again. Pump it full of nitrogen, bring it back up to atmospheric pressure, evacuate. I got it down to 1,000 microns. Then I uh, did it again. Got it down to 750, actually 620. And the third time we got it down to 500. Uh, it was a lot of work, and it seems like that's unnecessary work, and this line set is new. So I have concerns, and I, I guess I'm gonna have to do, like Fritz does, do a little bit of experimentation, probably back at the shop at my house, see if I can figure out what's going on, because the first time I did this, it was plowing through it. But I know my vacuum pump oil wasn't changed in between this time and last time, which is a factor, but I'm still a little surprised by it. Uh, another shout out to some of the controls here. What you do on the high is you unplug the, uh, there's a yellow and brown fan wire going to the 24 volts AC terminal at top. That means the fan will run in high speed constantly. That's what we want when we're charging so we get a proper subcooling because if the fan slows down, the subcooling goes down too to give you a false reading. Right now we're at, let's see, 8 degrees, 8.7 degrees subcooling. We're looking for a target of 12. Uh, so breed looks good and staying pretty low, so I'm happy there. And uh, we'll be good to go here shortly. It's really quiet. Another one, this is a three and a half ton. The one we did uh, yesterday was two and a half tons. So this is a big boy. 